everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Fergie Blog, and I am here with summarizing. <laughs> I just realized what that sounded like. Summerizing my makeup routine. And now I'm like, oh wait, I'm not summarizing, like, oh, it's a summary of makeup. You get what I'm oh, anyway. Um, and you know what as well? Okay, so I'm like pulling all the stuff I got from the Sephora haul that I want to incorporate this into the into this video. And then I realized that I also was pulling my the Clove and Hollow products that I just bought to try. And then I'm like, oh wait, is this more of a review kind of um, of Clove and Hollow, or is this a summer makeup routine? So well, we'll see, we'll see. Plus, and I guess we'll see what I've decided to title the video. Um, if you saw my Instagram, I did buy the kind of skincare bundle or or skin. I forget what it's called on the Cloven Hollow website. I want to say it was like a Mother's Day um, special, and I will definitely link below for you. But um, they are an indie brand in the U.S., and I follow them on social media, and I always see their ads, and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to give them a try. And um, I got their skin tint, and I got their concealer. I'd already had a concealer, so I actually got a different shade of concealer. And I got their... Um, pressed powder foundation, which could be as maybe even just a good setting powder. Before I get into the makeup, welcome if you are new. Uh, I hope that you stick around and subscribe. Find me on Instagram, of course, as well. I have everything lif lifted. I have everything linked below. You will find that I enjoy makeup, but sometimes my vocabulary is faulty. Okay, Cloven Hollow, here we go. I picked shade 04. I'm wondering if this is too light. You guys, it's just one of those things where I kind of always think I'm I'm pale, <laughs> and then I forget that if I add self-tanner, because if this is a skin tint, I'll want to wear it in the summer. Um, it's a lightweight foundation. So it's it talks about layering for desired coverage, you can apply it with fingers, sponge, or brush, and it is, like I said, made in the USA. Club and Hollow is out of Georgia. So, hey. So on the back of my hand, this looks, so that is swatches from before. The back of my hand, this looks kind of perfect. So let's see how we are. Um, you know, maybe I'll just bronzer up. I love finding companies that are women owned, that are independent, and yeah, you know. I think what's funny is a lot of the stuff that we buy on Sephora, the Spotted by Sephora, they were once small indie brands too, like Jouer, right? It's like, oh look at that, they're on, they're on Sephora now, good for them. Somebody is going to either be in the background mowing their lawn or weed whacking, and I am sorry, but with the shelter in place as it's been, the houses that line this street are very much into their yard work, my husband included. Okay, so we're gonna take a look, and this looks good. I think this looks good. It's actually a little more matte than I thought it would be. Um, I thought it was going to be more, uh, more like moisturizing, you know, like, um, yeah, but it's kind of self-setting. I kind of like that. I feel, I thought maybe with, if you were oily skin, maybe this is going to be, you know, too, too liquidy, but it's not. Okay. So for me right now, this match looks really good. I'm not sure what it looks like on camera or to you, but you know, in my natural light, this looks great. So let's do the other side. It's almost like a foundation featured. Whoa, doesn't that look? I prefer a sponge. Just now putting it on with my fingers, I see like little dots of pore action. I don't like that. 
and I just stuck it in my hair. Holy crap. Settle down. Okay. Uh, so it's nice. You know what? Because I'm going in with concealer and I'm going to go in with some powder and powder foundation, I'm not going to worry about putting on too many layers of this. I think we're good. I think that if I'm going to summer get, you know, my makeup routine more kind of warm weather, we're supposed to get in the almost 80s in Seattle this Mother's Day weekend. Okay, so concealer. I always see this on Pinterest and it's like, or Facebook and it's like the best concealer. And I'm like, okay. So whatever you're doing, Clove and Hollow for your ad campaign, it's working because got my attention. So shade three was a shade I bought last, last spring. And I actually think that that is a better match for me kind of all year round. Shade two is a nice, lighter shade of concealer. You can see the difference. And some folks like their concealer a little lighter. Some folks like their concealer to match perfectly. I just think that's a preference. You know, you gotta decide what you like. Um, for me, it just kind of depends on the look I'm going with and other products I'm using. This concealer, I would say, is definitely like full coverage. Let's apply it with my sponge on this side. Can we tell a difference? Uh, I don't see a difference. Okay, I do actually, I think I like the three better. So I need to go up a couple shades or more, a shade or more in this line. So that's good to know, you guys, if you're interested in Clove and Hollow and you're kind of, you, you know, in terms of how you gauge your shade selection on um, for me, against me, you know what I mean? Then, and you know, I picked 04 for the pressed mineral. So let's see if that's, um, it feels kind of rough like it doesn't feel it just feels like powder but it's when I do my little palm trick it has like a bit of a sheen to it so it's not overly you know what I mean um it's not powdery it's not cakey chalky what I should do is get one of my little powder pads I have for, hmm, you know, press uh, my powder foundation. And I'm not going, I'm going to only powder my T-zone right now. I am going to try my little Tarte C cream bronzer that I got. This is the mini, by the way, so if you're wondering. And this is the shade Seashells, which um, kind of looks dark right now. <laughs> but the cool thing, when I was playing around with this Tarte bronzer, I noticed that it's not shiny and it's not, but I really, I feel like it does a good job of blending, but it's kind of got this, it sort of, sinks into the skin. It's almost got like a velvet texture to it. And I like that. I am dying to dig into these. So I got this little flower floral. What is this one called again? Um, fresh floral? Flesh, bleh, flesh, flesh florals. Fresh florals. Oh, so pretty. This Melt Shadow Palette is sold out, you guys, or at least last I checked it's sold out. I'm very sorry, but we can play with Melt Cosmetics and see what we think of their textures, right? So that's fun. Um, a company reached out to me. They had very affordable brushes and they wanted to know if I wanted to get a set to share with my viewers. And I'm like, absolutely. And it's called Eig Show, E-I-G-S-H-O-W. 
and they are cruelty free brushes. Um, they have a very nice, this entire set they gifted me and I want to say it's like $20 or something, 30. It's very affordable. Um, it's 18 pieces. They're very nice. They're, they have a very good feel to them. I haven't washed them yet since I just got them. So I can't tell you, you know, how they, like, oh, do they shed, do they this, that, whatever. So, but you guys, I am so excited because some of the detail shaders on here look amazing. I love how small this is. And then we've got a few, they come in their little, I Oh, that is so silky. I should have used that for my powder. Oh, Rebecca, you're so silly. Okay, let's um, play with, I'm gonna do the shade Florist right here. Okay, you guys, this Sephora little eye stories deal. It's kind of great. I should just call this video trying new makeup, dude. Oh, I am so glad. I ordered another one of these. Did I order the latte one? The the brown. There was rust and there was brown. And I think I ordered the brown one. And I'm so glad I did because one of you commented on my haul video. You were like, oh, you're going to want to get another one because they're great. And I'm like, you are right. You are so, so right. Remember the shade this, Go Getter, from the Melt palette? We're gonna use her. Ah, oh, yes! Oh, I'm so excited, you guys. Ah! Oh. And I'm gonna use this Eye Show brush because it's flat. I did a nice job did a really nice job. Look at my green eyes popping. The D sunflower shade, with this little, love it. Oh my gosh. I love that. Do one more. I'm gonna use this this brush, it's so thin. And I'm gonna go in to Boss Lady because it's it's like a brown, like a burgundy. See how it's kind of brown, kind of, kind of plum? Oh, I know what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to go over. And then I just put it up in here. Yeah? Yeah? Are we good? What do we think, people? YSL. This all over glow is so beautiful and thank you to the viewer that told me the brush is underneath yeah. i'm the worst at that so i'm going to use this brush just a little bit and see let me know if you can tell a difference oh because I kind of hate your YSL, but I love ya. You know what I mean? Highlight is so pretty. Oh, I think this brush does a better job. I feel like everything, it's just that like soft face feeling when you see gorgeous people. That's how I feel. I'm gonna go in my Jouer blush 
this guy, what is she? This is Touch Me. It's the Flirt Blush Duo. Ooh, it's like it's giving a little more oomph to the already really cute. You know, if you are all about florals in spring, groundbreaking. I know. Um, <laughs> what can I say? What can I say? That's how I feel. So we need mascara, and I'm going to use the Tarte C Surfer Curl. Brows and mascara make such a big difference. You guys, I need more blush. Yeah. How can I be summer and all about that goodness if I have pale cheeks? I did put some Doll 10 lip liner. This is the shade Big Shot. And then I am going to go in with my new Huda Beauty in Game Changer Demi Matte something. I thought this would be kind of hun, but like, it's a bit, it's got a bit of a coral nude to it. Let's see, maybe it, does it jive with the shadow? It's a very lovely texture. It's got a lot of opacity to it while being creamy. So I appreciate this. What do you think, folks? I kind of love everything. So, wow. You know how some influencers are like, I'm so picky and I'm like, am I? I mean, I am, but am I? I don't know. Hard to s Sometimes I think I kind of really find good things about a lot of stuff that maybe others don't. And then sometimes I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm picky. Sure. I can be picky too. So, Clove and Hollow. So let's talk about Clove and Hollow. You guys, this skin tint is amazing. I feel like I have coverage. I feel like it is nothing on my face. I don't feel it. It's undetectable. I mean, it, it's like makeup enough, but not a lot. The concealer, I think so far, is great. And the powder is great. I mean, so far. Uh, I'm gonna try the powder by itself and uh, play with that, see what it's like for powder, powder foundation powder. I love, hearing on, I have an itch again. <laughs> I love the Melt and the Sephora Story shadows. I really, really like them. They are just blendable. The Melt shadows with, and the Sephora Story shadows are really nice. Just blendable, good, not much fallout or anything like that applies easily, love it. Um, love the YSL. I understand it's kind of expensive and ridiculous. It's not necessary for sure, but it is very pretty. It has such a nice sheen to it. And I really am loving the Tarte. Is that the only other new thing? Oh, and my lip, I like my lip. I like, I don't know if the color is perfect with the eyeshadow, if you guys have a suggestion, let me know. But this bronzer is really good. It's really good. Um, and this mascara has been nice too. Has a good curl, has good lengthening. So far, I like it. Um, so there you go. Well, thank you so much. I hope this was fun. And I will list uh, links and everything that I can in the description box. And... Um, Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time. Bye.